So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaus raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. If you're trying to make me feel better, stop. What would make you feel better, then? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaus thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fukis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money. And an explanation. Aye, Alexios. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. The Oracle's predictions destroyed my family. The Pythia has the wisdom of Apollo himself. Now, I'll admit, if people choose to ignore her, they might court disaster. If we ignore the Pythia, my sister would still be alive, and our mother would be safe at home. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But Nikolaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Alexios, in all the excitement I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house. It was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Malaka. That priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks for Navas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Pinor has a lot of explaining to do. Ready to embark! Nice to have you back, Commander! Ah, Mystias. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? I won't be your puppet anymore! So disappointing. away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. Alpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Elpinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Elpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. I 
I can smell that my life. Death is coming for you, LP North. What a shame. You would have made you rich. We killed you. Trusting you on Cephalonia was a mistake. I am the reason you left that island alive. The cult wanted you dead. What cult? Where are they? found on Elpinor is like nothing I've ever seen. Might come in handy. Here, a stranger? Need something? There are people who argue against the teaching of philosophy. Argue most violently. Have you been attacked? Oh, the occasional maltreatment is part of being a philosopher. But these followers of Ares... The questions I ask fly in the face of their twisted devotion. I fear they will kill me. You want me to be the protector? Obviously. Do we have a deal? I don't have time for this right now. Take some time to think about my request. Hello there. Need some help? My students and I have been debating intrinsic purpose, Mistios. The reasons the gods, or nature, have shaped the world. My purpose is solving problems, usually with a blade. As the lion solves the problem of too many antelope. This is only natural. All this talk of nature and not necessarily of gods has put me at odds with the followers of Ares. I have been threatened. You want me to be the protector? You understand perfectly, then. I have better things to do. This will be worth your while, mercenary. Them all. Gods, oracles, and especially pipe sailors. What's your problem? Why don't I have fucking problems with? The oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods.
You need a god. I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Malaka, I came to see if you needed help. Fuck you. No one asked you to. You know what? Fuck you. <sighs> okay, sorry. Been a bad day. I finished my business with the Oracle, and was meant to meet my ship here. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. You have business here in Fokis? I got business everywhere. Right now, it's where's my fucking ship? So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, We sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. Keep waiting. Kiki will come to you. You again? I'll find out what happened and bring them back. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my Yiki at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Describe Yiki. She's beautiful. She is... Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful? Okay, okay. She's raven-haired, and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. I found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? They're dead, all right? And your ship's gone too. Oh, my Yiki. All I found is her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I'd best be on my way. You do that, Mistios. You may not be the cause, but nonetheless, you're the bringer of ill fate. If I never see you or that fucking oracle again, I'll count my blessings. Anything a mercenary can do for you, statesman? I'm losing everything. Not only was my brother Alpinor murdered, but my whole political career is about to disappear too. I am the one who killed your brother. You? You bastard! You will pay for what you did to him. He was massacred! You deserve a fate worse than death! 
Dios. Eh. Found her. You! What are you doing here? This is sacred ground. You should not be here. Well, either leave or tell me what you want. Who are you? I was told to come here and speak to Daphne. So you're the one Thalia spoke of. And it was you who slew the unkillable? It was tough, but not unkillable. I'm Alexios. I'm Daphne, leader of the Daughters of Artemis. I have a task for you, if you're willing and able. When you put it like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring me its pelt. Is this what you wanted? By the gods! Truly, Artemis has brought us together! I'm eager to see how else you can surprise me. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world, but are not fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Neither god nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm, we will see. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis, and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. I'm not hunting or killing anything for you. Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elbinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? Is she left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... One more move and the spear will be at your throat. Tell me your name. I also mentioned you can be a little defensive. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller, or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. 
The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest! <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I'm looking for my father, my true father. Who is he? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Rotatos, you're still here.
I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! Enough with your lies. Tell me what I want to know. I can't breathe. If you raise your voice, if you tell a lie, I will cut your throat. I'm dead already. They'll find out you were here, and they'll kill me for it. Who? This cult of Cosmos? Speak! Yes, the cult wants you dead. They know you're here. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles. I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. I sent Elpinor to the underworld. I knew the mask I stripped from his corpse would come in handy. Now go! You bring nothing but darkness with you. the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me, but I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I've killed the first cultist, Elpinor, a snake I met in Cephalonia. His mask and cloak will get me inside the chamber. So they're underneath the Temple of Apollo? Yes, by the cave of Yea. I think I know the place. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Ah, Mystios! Well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me! I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well-suited to help me. But who is also so appealing to me physically? I'm glad to hear it. Korigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. By the gods, woman. I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. <laughs> 
What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. Your sex life, your problem. Without the elixir, I fear I'll need to find even more lovers to feed my appetite. Your sex life, your problem. Without the elixir, I fear I'll need to find even more lovers to feed my appetite. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Nistios, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this Avxesia? This is the Mistios who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh, no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense. I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me. I cannot do this anymore. By all the gods, will someone just pay me? If I hear any more talk of this, I'm going to be sick. Bah, young people. They don't understand through love. Here, this should be more than enough. My thanks. Come, Gorgos. I'll mix the elixir. You get the oils ready. Malaka! If it isn't the Eagle Barak himself! You got big since Kefalonia! And you got old, Fotios, the dog's breath! Last I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard! These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do! Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. A cushy job. Most days. I could use a break myself. <sighs> Some break this is. Today feels just like old times. The job got harder than anticipated. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zaphires, and I pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right, I'll help you, but... But what? You know my help doesn't come cheap, Fotios. <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and drachmi hungry, but reliable. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those Zaphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Come to think of it, 
I found a dead priest. He had a letter on him. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Hermes. That's them all right. <laughs> Any clues? It said something about going to Despina Fort to sell the root. Alexios, get over here, you spineless jellyfish, you. Good news. Found the sapphires. Should I ask why they're bloody? The priests couldn't cut it as thieves. <laughs> if I were only a little bit younger, I might have tried to cheapen the reward a bit. Good thing you got old. <laughs> Here's a little trinket from the treasury. No one will miss it. Let's hope not, or you'll send another mercenary after me. <laughs> Goodbye, Fotios. <laughs> If you ever see that dog, Marcos, again, tell him you demand minimum wage. So this is the secret chamber. They're not ones for subtlety, are they? So, this is it. Hidden chamber of the cultists. Here. All along. I'm going inside. Keep my clothes for me. Best not to go in with your weapons, either. I don't think they'll look too kindly on that. How do I look? Terrifying. Good. Find me once you've found out the truth in there. Keep your wits about you. Try not to do anything rash. Me, Rash. Who thought these ridiculous costumes were a good idea? hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my uh, first time. A new recruit? <gasps> welcome, welcome. You mentioned someone. Vimos. Who is that? You'll learn her name very, very quickly. She's our leader. I'm sure she believes that, but no. She's our weapon. She's difficult, but she does important work for us. I don't envy her position one bit. I'll go talk to the others. Thank you. Yes, yes, before Demos comes. Who knows if you'll get a word in after that. Still not convinced. You, we need another opinion on this. Why split resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. Immediate threats have to be destroyed. Pericles has to be destroyed. Not without the mother. We aren't strong enough without the mother. Don't let Vimos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the father. We know who the mother is. Looking for the father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the champion's mother or her father? Neither. You have a better idea? The sibling, Alexios. He's as good as us already. We need to look to the future. No. Go after him. Now, if you'll excuse me. I I'll need much more information to identify who these cultists just are. just wrong. We need to look for the father. It's only blood right now. But who knows? 
Vemos may ask for our hands next. Go on, go on. Make your offering. Or pass. The blood is for the cause, not the girl. Make your sacrifice. Oh. Sorry. We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the brother. You know, her kin. We need them. All of them. To use them? That information is not for Demos, of course. You know how volatile she is. She could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can she know we're about to capture her mother. <laughs> She is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. And do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use, unless she's uncontrollable. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. Letters to and from the cult. Gods. They have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. yourself together, Malaka. You're a fucking pig before slaughter. I'll do it, I swear. I'll kill him. Let me go. You like to watch, you sick fuck. You're not just going to watch. You're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson. Does he deserve it? Does it fucking matter, does it? What I say goes. No questions asked. I... I couldn't do it. But I'm not scared. Not anymore. If you can't kill a fucking Archon, what are you gonna do when I tell you to kill a fucking Archon? I will. I will. I'll kill Phidias. I don't want it. Well, you fucking have to want it. Cause I say so. Take it. Hand it to me. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> More? No. I'll go to Athens. I'll stake out the temple. I'll kill him. Good. And don't waste my fucking time again! Strange. Like that again, I draw blood. feel something now get towards the, the pyramid. The it's covered in shards, like Alpinors. You! Someone was spotted going into your house. Guards were found dead outside. Tell me who you talk to, or I'll break your pretty face. Please! I beg you. He forced me. I thought he would kill me. He? 
I will kill you. What did you tell him? <laughs> I wish I could do something, but if I reveal myself now, this will all be for nothing. Ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. It's impressive. Yes. Show your reverence. What we have now is everything. Ira has blessed me. My great warrior is leading our army to victory. Can you imagine the pride I feel? Then you have a thing or two left to learn. I raised our champion to bring us to ultimate glory. Wait and see. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. You! <laughs> Everyone will be tested. You first. Go. You. Go. you. Get up here!
You're alive. I found them. They have an army. Not the Spartans or the Delians. An army just to themselves. I can't fight an army, Herodotus. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen. Herodotus. It's my sister. We need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my sister. Demos. She used an artifact to see my memories. Alexios, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the king of the free people of Athens. King? Athens has no king. Pericles serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including your mother. Fuck your war! The cultists are exterminating my family! You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. Hmm. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult, and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you. But let's make it quick, Herodotus. First Thermopylae, then we go to Athens. Sure, every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Fully. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. Very poetic. Now, can we please go to Athens? We can talk about the dead on the way. Patience. I didn't bring you here to talk about the dead. I brought you here so you can learn to protect the living. How can I protect the living if I'm hanging around statues of lions? Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something.
Herodotus. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived, a coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand? I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension, and all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotos and I share enemies, too. Like Elpinor? He is, was, part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. Why, Hermes? The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure, but... I think it might be my sister. Your sister? 
By Zeus, your life is complicated. Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies. And one of them fights like Athena and shits thunder like Zeus. We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens. First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then. We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Now that we have the necessary resources, we can upgrade the ship's wall. She's in ramming shape now, like a feast of 